What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning, so come by and say hello. Well, 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 it is official. Land Phase 0 0.5 is going to be entering into the game and into the ecosystem uh, this coming Tuesday, so December 13th, 2022. So this is really exciting, obviously, for folks who have been waiting for land for a long time. This is a momentous occasion, and I do want to give kudos to the team where credit is due, simply because of the fact that uh, I, I'm sure it wasn't easy. I know that it wasn't easy for them to get this out before the end of the year, considering everything that's happened over the last couple of months. That being said, you know, <laughs> land is coming in, I think, two years uh, after it has been sold. And so there's many people who have been waiting for this. Now, I will admit, I, I, I own two plots of land and I was not excited about this at all. OK, so I was looking at it. I was like, land zero, you know, phase 0 0.5. You're just going to be able to redeem your plot for a deed. And then you'll get to see where it is on the map. And that's like that's like it you don't know the you don't know the details you don't know the the stats or the the resources or anything the rarity um you know none of that comes in until later when we get the full phase one complete uh and i'm hoping that'll be sometime n next year but if you want to see some of that in action uh after giving it a shot on the map uh, on the map server during the live stream yesterday with darkest night we actually had a lot of fun with it. So I, I'm, I'm changing my tune a little bit now because I do think at least for the next couple of weeks that it will be fun to see where people's land is. And if you want, you can go and buy land in another area or, you know, get the ones that are all close by to where you are. And we're going to get into that in a minute here. But there is isn't there's a community element to this, I think, that could be really fun or at least a preference element. Um, and if this ever loads, I it, it may or may not, then the, that's the map server or the, the, the test server. But um, if, you know, the, the good thing about it ultimately is that I think it's going to be fun for the community and it should hopefully hold over people for the next couple of weeks until the team can get their planning sessions done and, you know, get back in gear early next year. And I'm hoping that we do get land phase one sometime in January, which would mean within the next six weeks from when I'm recording this roughly within the next six weeks. But let's go through the official post here. Uh, there's some lore uh, talking about you being in Pretoria and wanting to get your land. Here is your overview of the map. There are seven different territories. I'm not going to go into the details of it now. You can go spend some time checking it out. But um, seven different territories. They look like they could be. I don't know. They they could like they like they could be splinter related or element related, right? Maybe like a fire zone here. Is this water? Uh, death. Dragon, neutral, earth, life. I mean, again, I'm just looking at the way at the color schemes. So maybe, maybe not, <laughs> but we'll have to wait and see. So there's going to be, uh, this is how it's going to be represented. So it's going to show, so PR is, is Pretoria, which maybe should give a signal that there could potentially be other land in the future, but they're probably just, uh, they're probably just making sure that, that they future proof it regardless. But PNW, for example, is uh, Pacific Northwest. I think it's called pristine Northwest, but it, this is really just, uh, this is really just <laughs> a map of the U S but um, you know, it breaks down. You'll be able to see when you zoom in, for example, you can see these are all of the different regions. There's 150 regions. So your land will be inside a certain region and then a certain track number within that region, as well as, as you know your, your specific land plot um, so right here you can see that this represents plot number 27 in tract 3 of region 7 in the pristine northwest territory in the continent of Pretoria so um, the, the next phase of land expected to be out early in 2023 players will be able to survey their land deeds and find out the terrain type rarity resources and special buildings available on their land so that is really really exciting now we will be able to once you claim it you will be able to uh buy and sell and uh buy and sell these these tokens so people are going to be converting their existing region tract and plot tokens into unsurveyed deeds and again each of these deeds will be on a specific location within the map somewhere right so uh, right now you can't drill down all the way into the tract and uh, actual plot but you can see where the region is and then you know assume that yours is one of 1,000 plots in that area. So, you know, this this map is supposed to be massive. Um, there's only really a couple of other 
other things here. So as we've said many times before, we do not intend for location. Here, here's, This is the important part. We do not intend for location placement on the map to have any clear benefit as it relates to harvesting and crafting. For example, if your plot is located near the center of the continent or on the coast in any particular territory, there are no plans to have that impact your productivity in any way. Now, I want I want to make sure that we highlight this, okay? Because they're saying as it relates to harvesting and crafting. There's been talk about travel within land. I don't know what that looks like. I haven't heard anything internally. I, I think anybody who's talking about traveling, that's a, that's like a pipe dream for, you know, maybe, maybe like a year or two years out. But they made sure to say that the location is, is only, you know, there's no difference in benefits as it relates to harvesting and crafting. So, as I w as we were talking about on the channel yesterday, as I look at this, I am wondering if I want to try and get something that's a little more centrally located. So, if I have to travel at some point in the future, I don't need to worry about it, <laughs> okay? But, um, again, I just wanted to point that out because, um, you know, they're saying that it doesn't matter where you are on the map from harvesting and crafting, but... They're being specific to say that and not anything else. And that's fine because I think the team should make sure that they clarify certain things if they're planning to add elements in the future, even if those elements are a year, two years, five years off. So just wanted to point that out. Um, and then similarly, we don't expect there to be any advantage or disadvantage between the various natural geography terrains. So all 14 geography types will be equally necessary part for overall land, uh, the land economy and crafting the, of items and spells. Now, as it, as it comes with like cards, for example, I'm sure certain items and spells will be much more desirable. So over time, the market will determine it. And I think the team is doing the best that they can right now to keep it as equilibrium, you know, as close to equilibrium as possible across the board. But um, obviously, I don't expect that to be the same. So this is the, the another important point here. So for players who are com contemplating whether it makes more sense to diversify or consolidate geography types, understand we do plan, do in capitals, plan to introduce aspects of transportation and storage for resources that may make it adv advantageous for a single player to have plots within close close proximity ah, within close proximity to one another and to focus on certain resources. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so, and they've also said, I don't know if it's in here, but I, I know that I've read in other areas where they believe that it'll be better for people to specialize. And I think this is an important part of that. So if you want to diversify and get, you know, uh, as I was saying, like, you know, something close to the, something close to the middle of the map, and then I was going to get a beach house potentially. But, uh, if they don't, <laughs> if, if, if they want you to be close, then, um, or at least to specialize, I think having all of your plots within a certain area. So for example, like a region would make the most sense. Um, here we go. And in addition, we intend to add market functionality to the game that allows for swapping and trading. The idea is that a player who has primarily forest plots and produces mostly wood will easily be able to trade that wood for any other resources. Um, so currently, there's no clear benefits uh, for spreading location. However, everything is subject to change. It's important to understand that much of the land planning is still being designed and developed. So let the land rush begin. We're going to go ahead and see. Oh, sweet. I did make it in. So now you'll be able to go into your items. And you can see here land. And uh, again, we can't really drill down into anything specific. But you'll be able to get all of your information here. And the one thing that I wanted to show you on this is this area down here. So... Revealing land or uh, redeeming your plots for unsurveyed deeds is not going to be some random. Um, well, it, it's going to be random in the sense of like, you know, you're still not sure what kind of rarity and resources and all that stuff that you get. But your location doesn't necessarily need to be random. In fact, it's going to tell you exactly where the next region is going to be in the next region, the next available track, the next available plot. So let's say I was planning for example, to redeem my plot right now for an unsurveyed deed. It's telling me that the next available plot, okay, is going to be in uh, region 011, so 11. So right here, it's going to be in this region, in this tract, and it's going to be plot number 83. So this is what I was saying earlier, where I think there's going to be some game theory which will make it fun for people redeeming their their claims, their plot claims, uh, or even you know tracked in regions because people are going to be looking at this and you know throughout the entire week that it's available or however long you know uh, until all all plots are redeemed for unsurveyed deeds, 
everybody's going to be looking at this and be like, hey, I kind of want to have a spot here. And so I'll be checking in regularly to be like, okay, you know what? Um, it looks like we're getting close or I want to be in this region or I want to be in that region. It's that region now. Let me go and redeem my plot. So there's going to be some fun stuff happening within the community. I think that this is going to be great for community engagement. Again, it doesn't add anything to the game just yet, but I think it's going to be fun for the community, especially over the holidays. You know, everybody should you know be a little bit less on edge and a little bit more chill, and uh, hopefully we'll have more time to spend within the actual gaming parts of the game, which should be nice. So that is all I have for you guys in this video. Uh, more to come. They have the uh, they have the town hall tonight, which should be a lot of fun, and. Uh, We'll take it from there. So I'll catch you all in the next video and see you around the game. Take care.